tend to be a little uh, easier to sneak up on at night. Right now, no, to the right, to the right. Right there. Got it. You got him. Nice shot. Bro. I think they're considered so fearsome because of the way they're put together. They have two rows of pretty sharp teeth. They have a mouth that can open pretty wide. They grow pretty large. All right, we got a snakehead in the boat. Snakeheads are an invasive species here. They are on the top of the food chain. We've seen them eat small woodland creatures, you know, uh, mice, squirrels, things that they can get to. They eat pretty much every other fish here. There's a very tight food chain here and once you start eliminating the actual uh, health of the ecosystem could potentially be at risk. In this region, you know, snakehead, the popularity of fishing for snakeheads is sort of grown exponentially. And gnats are carrying snakeheads. We can actually eat these predators and, um, and still try to maintain a healthy ecosystem at the same time. This has been cured and smoked and chilled. Once we get beyond the name snakehead, I, I think that's kind of a hurdle that we have right now. It's a really beautiful fish. You know, fry it, you can cure it, smoke it, you can saute it. Um, there's a lot of different applications for it, so that's why uh, we like to use it. Here we have a uh, crispy uh, snake head. We're a wholesale seafood distributor in Washington, D.C. We've been selling the source, an invasive snakehead uh, that we get here in our local waters. Until somebody tries it, Cheers. they really are very standoffish. Uh, once you work with it, you know, it's a, it's, it's a love affair. It really is. They're, they're a little scary. They can breathe in water, out of water. They've gotten that reputation that they walk on the land. They don't actually walk, but they do slither. Like so, so research is ongoing and it's a new fishery. You know, it can't be good. You know, they are definitely taking food to other fish. Um, they're obviously preying on other fish. I mean, we've all seen the teeth. You know, in five years it would be great if we had a dinner to eat the last one. I would love the last supper, so to speak, uh, for... I mean, that's for kind of our mission. We, we don't have any long-term uh, goals. There's no promoting of it. It's always been eradication through knife and fork and through education.